It's your boy D Note, man. We back in the boxing world. Back with another boxing video, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe for me, man. Everything greatly appreciated. We gonna roll to 500 and we gonna roll to 1K, man. Appreciate the support from the people that have been supporting. But yeah, man. Talking about a lot of stuff today, man. Been a been a wild weekend, man. A lot of fights went on, a lot of good fights. Got the Valdez, Wilson fight. Had the had a few fights at one at one fifty four, man. A few good fights at one fifty four. The Roly Pitbull fight, man. I was wrong on that. <laughs> but yeah, we talking about everything, man. Earl Spence. Earl Spence back on the scene, Crawford back. Hey, hey, they both trying to get the same fight, man. Who gonna end up getting it? We talking about everything in this little video, man. But yeah, man. So we can start with the Spence. Spence hopped in the ring after the Fundora. We already knew Spence was gonna get the fight, man. Spence PBC. Everything PBC. Spence the one that bringing the money, man. I still believe, and everybody else in boxing believe that Spence is still a bigger draw than Bud. With the loss, with him getting beat, still got a bigger, better fan base than Bud, man. I believe it. I believe it, man. Everybody rock with Spence, man. Spence still gonna sell out. He gonna sell out the marinas, man. Samson, who is David Benavidez's promoter, he's also Fundora's promoter. He said they're most likely gonna go with the Spence fight, man. He said they most likely gonna go with the Spence fight, and Fundora signed the PBC. Samson worked with the PBC, and like promoters and boxers, it's kind of like a record label and an artist, man. The artists really don't have any say so. These boxers really don't have much say so, man. I guess they got some, but they really gonna listen to the man behind the scenes, man. They gonna listen to Samson. They gonna listen to their promoter, man. Like, they really can't do nothing without the promoter <laughs> signing off on it, basically. Like, they really sign their rights over to the promoters in most, most scenarios, man. So, with that being said, he said they fighting the Spence fight next. It's the big money fight. He said Spence could sell out a 90,000, 70,000, 80,000 seat arena in Dallas or anywhere in Texas, really. Hey, if they had a fight in Texas from Dora Spence, I got to go to that one, man. Texas is my favorite city, my favorite place to be, man. So I'd definitely go to that. But yeah, man, who y'all think deserved a rematch, man? Who y'all think gonna get the rematch with um, Fundor? Some people, I mean, not rematch, but the fight with Fundor. Some people saying they want to see the Tim Zoo rematch. I wouldn't mind seeing that, man. Because do y'all think Fundor would have won that fight if Tim Zoo ain't get that cut on his head? If he ain't catch that elbow where he had won that fight. I don't know, man. Couldn't see the whole fight. He was winning before the cut, so. I don't know, man. It's a tricky situation, but hey, it's part of boxing. Some people feel like the ref should have stopped the fight. Some people feel like Tim Corder should have asked for the fight to be stopped. But Tim a warrior, man. We already knew that. He an old school fighter. Looked like one of them old school bras, man. Bloodbath, for real. Like, <laughs> a lot of blood everywhere, like. That was crazy, man. I ain't never seen a bloody boxing match like that. That was crazy. They both looked pretty beat up after the fight, but Tim Zhu more, of course. It was a good fight, though. Solid fight. Cool car. I like the show. I like the Amazon show. They came with it, right? First show on Amazon, they came with it. Next car probably will be a lot better. But I liked how Amazon, how everything was set up, how everything looked. It was a good show, man. PBC back, man. PBC ain't going nowhere. PBC keeping boxing afloat, man. Them in um, Saudi Arabia. Them in the zone. Top rank doing doing that thing. Queensberry. But yeah, man. That's crazy right there. And then Roley. I thought my boy Roley was going to win. He lost. My boy lost. <laughs> and then, yeah, um... Roley lost. He got beat up. He got knocked out. Pitbull the champ. 
I like to see a pit bull um, Matias fight, man. I love to see a pit bull Matias fight. That'd be a cool one. Two come forward fighters. Just brought it out. Pit bull look a little better at 140. Or maybe he was just fighting Roly. I don't know. I don't know. I think I over overestimated Roly abilities, man. <laughs> and then yeah, I forgot to talk about um Boa Chuck, man. Boa Chuck is now Endure's mandatory too. He a mandatory, Crawford a mandatory. So hey. He got two belts. He got two mandatories already. Sir he Boa Chuck. He looked good, man. He looked good against Mendoza. Mendoza beat um Fondora, so hey, how would that go? Styles make fights. And Fondora was winning too. He got caught with that, so I wasn't surprised. I thought Bo Check was gonna win. I got that one right. I figured that was gonna happen. Won some money on that. And then I lost some money on Roly. Right, good. I'm glad I ain't bet too much because that was that was really a toss up. Just whoever get knocked out first. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I lost some money on Tim Zhu, but I had bet, I had bet both ways, but I put more money on Tim Zhu, but I ain't really lose nothing. <sighs> so that was, that was cool. That was cool. That was a draw. And then what else happened, man? What else happened this weekend? Oh, yeah, Valdez, Wilson. That was a, that was a cool fight, man. Valdez. <laughs> Valdez won. I thought he was going to win at first, but then I started overthinking it. I switched sides. I went to Wilson. Wilson came out strong. He looked good the first couple rounds. Then Valdez just took over. Ended him. KO. Hey, Valdez said he still got it, man. He said he was ready to quit after his last fight against Navarrete. 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 That'd be say his name. But yeah, he was ready to quit after that. He came back. He bounced back. He looked good. Got the KO. He the intern champion, and if um, Navarrete handled business at 135, don't come back down, hey, he'll be um, upgraded to the full champion. So, hey, Valdez might be a champion again, man. 130, who come, who going to take over 130, man? They need to unify some belts, come undisputed or something, man. I need to see something at 30. 30 done got boring, I ain't going to lie. Who else at 30? Oh, Shaqy. You know, he's straight. He cool. He ain't really know nothing, man. But, yeah, 154? Hey, that's the division to talk about right now, man. Was well, 47. 35. Now it's 54. 35. 40. Then heavyweight, of course. Heavyweight always going. Going crazy. Got some good heavyweight fights coming up, man. And then T.O. Shakur. They announced their fights. Who their opponents is this week. Not impressed, really. Well, Shakur, Shakur opponent, decent, but he lost to Frank Martin, so really really can't give him much of a chance versus Shakur, like, Shakur on top of his game, like, nah. But, yeah, man, a lot of stuff went down this weekend, man. A lot of stuff went down. I lost some money this weekend. <laughs> but it's all good, man. We're going to get it back. You win some, you lose some, man. Just like Tim Zoo said, man, you win some, you lose some. But yeah, man, I don't know what else, man. What else happened this weekend? Got undisputed in the women's. That fight was, fight was decent. I don't really like watching women's boxing. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of heavy hits, but nobody get dropped, nobody get hurt for real. So I'd be good on that. But yeah, man, looking like Spence gonna get that fight. It's a good returning fight for Spence. If he win, he get two belts. It's really crazy how Fandora was a replacement and ended up with two belts. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. If I was Sir Hebo and Chuck, I'd be mad, man. Like, why they didn't throw me in the main event? <laughs> but yeah, man, I wanna see that. I wanna see that Tenzel rematch, but I don't want it right now, man. He got to fight Crawford or um, Spence right now. Got to fight them guys. Hopefully, I'd rather see Spence. Because I think Crawford will win against Fondora. It'd be a good, probably a cool fight, though. But I want to see Spence, man. I want to see Spence back in that ring. I want to see Spence 100%. No excuses. 
No nothing. See if he still got it, man. See if Spence still got it. And I know Fandora want that payday, man. So I know he's going to rock with that payday. But yeah, man. Boxing. Boxing been, been interesting, man. Been real interesting. Tia Fimo. He fighting. Dude with seven losses. That he done threw in the top 15 of everybody now. But he really not a top 15 fighter. But yeah, man. We gonna see, man. Boxing getting interesting again. Trying to start making my videos longer. Start talking about a couple cut topics. Not just one topic. But yeah, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe for me. Everything greatly appreciated. Everything, man. Every like, every comment. Even if you're hating. I appreciate it, especially people that don't subscribe. We almost at 500. Then we on the way to the thousand, man. Thousand the real goal, but 500 the first goal. We gotta get there first. Yeah, man. That's really about it, man. Let me know what y'all think about all this stuff, man. It was an interesting weekend. You didn't catch it, man. Missed out, man. Good fights, good quality fights all weekend. Top rank put on a good, cool show. Not the best, but a cool show. And then PBC came back with a great show, man. Great show. Oh, yeah, people talking about they want to see the Lugan um, from door fight again. No. <laughs> Lugan's not one of them guys. Nobody thinks he's one of those guys. And for from door team, it just wouldn't make any sense. Not a big money fight at all. <laughs> Spence the biggest money fight. Crawford, like, probably the most important for the legacy. And to, y'all think, y'all think they're going to make him drop the belt? I would drop the belt to fight Spence, get that check. But, like, why would they make him drop the belt so quick? Like, these sanctioning bodies are, like, I don't get them. I don't get them. They different, man. These sanctioning bodies are crazy. Strictly business. That's why these belts are an illusion. They are not real. They do not matter. And that's all I got to say, man. But if they strip Fondura that quick, just because he want to take one other fight, and Canelo can fight whoever he wants. May 4th comes, Canelo can fight whoever he wants. But Fondura can't get a little Spence fight in with a former champion. Just a champion. He had three belts. He can't get that fight in before he take his own um, mandatory. That'd be crazy, man. That'd be real crazy if they stripped them belts, man. Well, they stripped the belt, the WBO belt. That'd be real crazy. Like, y'all just gave it to him. These commissions are crazy, man. <laughs> they are crazy. And I just, I don't like it. I don't get it. Can't rock with it. No good, man. Boxing ain't no good right now, man. It's a lot of bad things in boxing. Them commissioning bodies. It's the worst thing, man. I need to go strip Benavidez. Go strip Charlo. Like, y'all talking about stripping from Dora? He got to negotiate his fight before the fight. And Tim Zoo was negotiating the fight before the fight. Before he even won the belts. Backfired, man. It backfired. I mean, he would have won if he didn't get caught with the elbow, I believe. But hey, it happened. It is what it is. It's part of the sport. It's part of the game. But yeah, <sighs> crazy weekend, man. Crazy weekend. I was outside this weekend, and I seen the fights this weekend. So I had a cool weekend, man. But yeah, appreciate everybody.